Hi guys, so probably just a short video today, although it depends, we'll see. But uh, basically I've had a hellish week at work, like I'm sure lots of you do all the time. And uh, I'm not complaining, I'm not venting, but it's just been one of those weeks where everything that could have gone wrong on this little project I'm on ha has gone wrong. And should have been a three day project and it's turned into a five and a half day project. And it's just been, it's just not been fun. It's not been a fun place to be. It's not been a fun project to work on. And anyway, it's done now. But uh, so I spoke to my wife and I've got permission to come and walk around a wood. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically just to, to decompress, I'm, uh, I'm gonna just spend an hour or two walking around a wood and uh, that'll do me. I'll be all sorted again after that, I'll be fixed. Uh, brand new again so we might find some mushrooms it's been really good weather and i'll certainly be looking for them but that's not the purpose of this little trip the purpose of this little trip is just to uh put a full stop at the end of my week and just decompress a bit so um i'll share anything i find with you but uh, oh <laughs> and having said that look we're not even into the wood yet and this is a balette or a belete of some kind. And uh, it's got a little bit of red on the stem. So I'm going to be leaving it behind because I don't know what it is. But it's one that I might look up a bit later. Uh, but <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting to see that before we'd even stepped into the woodland. So that's a good start. That's got my hopes up. So I've just found a, a, another belete down here. And we're going to have a bit of a closer look. I'm fairly sure it's a belete. We'll have a look. Yep. So a belete is, to a forager, a belete or a belette is any mushroom that has a stem and pores rather than gills, like a polypore would have underneath. And as I've mentioned before, there's a couple of really easy rules for avoiding all of the bad ones. Um, I got this tip from Wild Foraging, uh, Wild Food UK, so credit to them. But um, firstly, if, check there's no red on the mushroom anywhere. There's no red on the mushroom anywhere. Then you move on to the next step, which is to cut it in half. And once you cut it in half, a lot of bleats will oxidise. But if it doesn't quickly oxidise blue then you have an edible belete, an edible mushroom. So I'm not sure what type of belete this is, but um, I'm going to take it home and see if I can't ID it when I get home with my books because I don't have any of my books with me. But uh, I'm not particularly proficient on identifying um, the belete family. I know a few, um, but they're, they're quite a wide family with lots of different species in, and I know the, the most... Um, common one, you know, the set, the penny bun, I can identify that, no trouble, but uh, there's a few I don't know, there's a lot I don't know. So I'm going to take this one home and see if I can identify it at home. And just a little bit further down the hedger, I found this guy, now I'm not sure what he is either, it's another bullet, but this one has got red on its stem. And this one has not oxidised at all, I cut it about two minutes ago, three minutes ago, something like that. So the two species there, I'm fairly confident they're different species, and... I certainly can't positively identify them, so I'm not going to be eating this one for sure, but I am going to see if I can get an identification from my books when I get home. So I'm back in the car, and I'm going to head home now. It's been a hellish week for me. It's just been, of my, of my nine to five job, it's just been horrible. And it reminds me of why I'm trying to do what I'm doing, and I'm trying to move as much of my life, as much of my living hours away from that and towards the sort of stuff that I share with you guys. But it's been a horrible week. It's just been a hard, hard week. But it's given me, you know, it's just given me a quick reminder as to why I'm doing what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, my wife's given me a night off today. I'm very grateful. I love the woods. The woods are my home. When I, uh, when I walk around a woodland, I'm a happy boy and uh, it's helped, but I'm just exhausted. I'm physically exhausted and I'm mentally exhausted from a very difficult week. So um, just a short video today, I'm gonna head home. I'm going to hug my family. I'm going to have a coffee. 
I'm going to have a bath and I'm going to have a very early night and then I'm going to wake up tomorrow knowing that tomorrow is my day and um, it means I'm going to be doing all sorts of amazing, amazing things that are the things I want to do in my garden and in my house and sharing it with all of you. So thanks for watching and I will um, I will report back and let you know tomorrow when I upload tomorrow's video, I'll let you know what those mushrooms were if I manage to ID them. But I just don't want to put the pressure on myself to have to get home and do that immediately, get it on this video, edit it, put it out. It just um, puts a bit of pressure on me that I, I, I don't really think I can cope with today. <laughs> so forgive me for that. But uh, yeah, you know, go easy on me guys. It's been a tough week and uh, I will see you all tomorrow.